there, little troopers. <gasps> look, how's the weather today? See, look at that cloud. It's getting darker and darker. I think it's going to rain. So first, you're going to watch a very short story about the little raindrop. And later, we're going to discover where does the water comes from. The Little Raindrop by Joanna Gray Illustrated by Dubravka Kolanovic Read by Teresa Gallagher One dark and stormy day, a little raindrop fell out of a cloud and flew faster and faster through the sky. A gust of wind blew little raindrop sideways and in a dazzling flash of red, orange and yellow, he found himself inside a rainbow. Ooh. Enjoying the beautiful colours, Little Raindrop fell through green, blue, indigo and violet before another gust of wind blew him out of the rainbow. <laughs> Splash! Little Raindrop landed in a shallow puddle on top of a large rock. Splish! Splash! Splosh! Lots of other raindrops fell all around him until the puddle was overflowing. <laughs> Little raindrop ran down the side of the rock and joined a stream. In the stream, Little raindrop drifted through woods and bounced over pebbles. He played with small, shimmering fish and watched them dart around as deer and rabbits came to drink at the water's edge. Sometimes, laughing children would race sticks in the water and little raindrop would chase them under bridges, dodging the swirling grass and fluttering leaves. After a while, the stream joined a river and little raindrop floated along in the strong current. At times, the river was calm and peaceful and little raindrop watched diving kingfishers and larger fish as they swam slowly by. At other times, the river was noisy and rough. Little Raindrop raced along rapids and dived down waterfalls, carefully avoiding the jagged rocks at the bottom of the falls. Eventually, the river reached the sea and Little Raindrop was pulled far away from the shore. He met friendly dolphins who played and danced in the sunlight and listened as they whistled and clicked their greetings to each other. One day, the tide pulled Little Raindrop back to the beach. He surfed the waves and crashed onto the shore until finally he came to rest on the soft sand. The sun shone down on the sand and Little Raindrop got hotter and hotter until the warmth of the sun drew him up into the air. It was cooler in the sky and Little Raindrop joined a cloud that was already full of other raindrops. Little Raindrop was ready to fall to earth and begin his journey once more. Where does the water come from? Did you like the story about our little raindrop? Here it's raining already. Now and we are going to learn about the water cycle. What is a cycle? A cycle is something that has different steps and when we get to the last step, it starts all over again many, many, many times. So today, as I told you, we are going to be learning about water cycle. See, we can imagine this is our friend, the little raindrop. See, it's raining and when it rains, the water ends up in the water, like lakes, puddles, oceans. And then when the sun comes out, the, the earth starts to get hotter and hotter. So the water that is in the oceans or the rivers is not liquid anymore. It's not like this, it changes and it starts to go up back to the sky. This is called evaporation. Can you say it with me? Evaporation. And 
they are, they are like little raindrops, like in, the, like in the story. So they get together in one cloud and when there are many, many, many ra little raindrops, like this one, see, this one is darker than this one. So when there are a lot of raindrops together, then they start to fall out of the cloud and this is called precipitation or rain. And this cycle, it repeats endlessly. So now we're going to do something very small, but it's going to show us what really happens with the water. How is it that the water changes from being liquid to be a gas like the air that we breathe? And for that, I got here water. I put a little bit of food coloring, okay? But if you don't have it, it's okay. First, I'm going to write some things. See, I don't know if you can see it, but here I got the water. I'm going to put the water inside and you're going to see it later. And once the water is inside the Ziploc bag, we're going to tape it to the window where the sun hits, okay? And we need to wait. After a while, the idea is that you're going to start seeing little, little drops of water. You need to see how the water that is liquid starts be becoming like water vapor. Can you say that with me? Water vapor. So you're going to see little drops like this one inside the bag after a few hours. Now I'm going to put the water inside the bag. Now we already got the water inside. Remember that after the sun comes out, the, the earth starts to getting hotter and hotter and that is when the water starts to go up to the sky again. So the same thing is going to happen inside our bag, but we need to be patient. I hope you enjoy it. And later I'm going to ask you if you could see all the little drops inside your bag. Water cycle craft. Now you might want to pause the video so you can get all the things we need for the craft. We're going to do a small craft. Here we got all the steps in the water cycle. We got the evaporation, the sun, the precipitation, that is the rain, the collection and the condensation. Remember what was condensation? Was condensa condensation in the water or up in the sky? Yes, up in the sky. So we're going to use some cotton to pretend that these are clouds. So we're going to take cotton and we're going to paste all around the condensation paper. See, we already got our clouds. What, what happened when, when we got a lot of raindrops inside a, a cloud? Yes, the rain will come and that is called precipitation. So we're going to take three pieces of paper like this one and we're going to draw or color raindrops. It's going to look like this. But once the water comes down from the cloud like rain, where does it end? Yes, it's the collection time. This means that we're going to take a piece of white paper and we're going to color it blue because it can be rivers, ocean, puddles. What happens when the sun starts to shine, when there's no more rain, the, the sky is clear and the sun comes out? What happened? Yes, the water starts to change its forms, not a raindrop anymore. It's going to go back up to the sky. So we're going to take another two pieces of paper 
are you I'm using white color we're going to make little circles or raindrops that are going back up to the sky once we finish coloring everything we're going to take the clouds, the condensation step and we're going to paste it like this, like a circle you do the same thing with the sea or the ocean, the collection step and how these two connect? what do we need? yes, we need the rain that is the precipitation and we need the water vapor or the evaporation okay so we're going to take first the rain and we're going to paste it paste it like this okay all around the circle on one side we're going to paste the rain see here we got the clouds, the rain, and the ocean and rivers. And now, what do we need? Yes! When the sun comes out and it's shining very brightly, the water from the ocean starts to go up back to the clouds. So we're on the other side, we're going to paste the evaporation, okay? So we got the evaporation on this side and the precipitation or rain on the other side. Now we're going to use the string to tie up the sun on top of the clouds and later we're going to hang it. I think it's better if we paste the sun in the middle of the string so you can hang it anywhere you want. I hope you learn about water cycle today and all the steps so you know now where does the water come from i see you later during our video call bye